Hey everyone, welcome back to so today. I'll be doing a look with the Beauty Bay Book of Magic palette. This is such a throwback. I don't even know if you can get it anymore. But yeah, this won my palette poll the other day. Well, when I say the other day, the other month. If you're not sure what my palette poll is, every single Friday over my Patreon group, I get my patrons to decide what palette they want to see on my channel. I just get all my palettes together. That way I can just rotate my collection a bit more to choose my palettes. So these were the runners up. We've got W7 Shiv Pop Palette. And then we also have a Cosmic Brushes Serenity palette. All the sheets are flying out. Gorgeous. Such a nice one for the winter. But yeah, I've already done quite a few colour combinations on my channel with this palette. I don't think I've actually entered the neutrals with this palette, so I may use that video today just to do that. As for the rest of my face, I have no idea what I'm going to pick out. So if you want to find out, then make sure you come watching. Hit subscribe. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into this palette. I've also popped on some SPF because I'm going out in a minute. This is the Carbon Fury SPF 50 plus. Also, I'm getting a really dry nose. You can see a patch there. I've had to go in the CeraVe eye repair cream just around my nose because I'm just so dry. Okay, starting with my eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Beauty Bay eye base. I love Beauty Bay eye base. I, it's literally my go-to. It's all I use at the minute. I do have uh, other eye bases like the Revolution Super Base and Ultimate eye base, but this is just always... Always comes to mind when I want to do my eyeshadow. Also, I've just woken up, so if I get sleep in my eyes, that is why. Okay, so be today, Book of Magic. So I'm gonna start off with Amulet Shade. I don't know if I actually done a neutral look for the palette, I'm pretty sure I have. Let's just give it a go. I'm just gonna put this everywhere on the lid and the crease. This palette is gorgeous, and unfortunately, I don't think you can get this anymore because it was limited edition. But if you can get it on the likes of Vinted, Depop, and you see it on offer, do get it because it's absolutely stunning, especially for the Halloween season and the winter season. Well, like all eyeshadows, you can use an eyeshadow palette any season. Doesn't really matter <laughs> as long as you're happy with it, makes you confident, and that's all that really matters, really. So I'm gonna deepen it up. I'm gonna use. Hmm, where shall I go? Manifest. Let's up a notch. Manifestation. So, let's deepen this up. Also, I'm really sorry if my videos come across quite rushed at the minute. I'm losing time at the minute. Like, work is ranking up at the minute. I'm finding myself having to film on the weekends at like half seven in the morning because <laughs> I like to get out and about and stuff for my weekends. I don't want to be staying in the house. So I've got to find some time to do some videos and making videos makes me happy. If I don't make a video, I feel, I don't know, I just feel a bit down. As long as you enjoy them, that's the main thing. And as long as I enjoy filming, that's the main thing. Oh my God, like <clears throat> this neutrals. Yeah, I know neutrals can come, come across a bit boring, but I love them. I just love and love them. Like, look at that, how nice is that? I am gonna deepen this up even further. I'm gonna go into the Hex shade. This Hex shade, this black is so pinked. Love it, I'm gonna use the same brush. Even though it's huge, but let's just tap a bit off and whack a bit on. Tap a bit off, whack a bit on. And already it's created some smokiness. This shade in the middle, Crystal, is quite intriguing. I don't know if it's gonna get yeah, I feel like I need to use this. It's got a bit of an undertone brown as well, which I think it might go with this look. This shade on top of the black shade, it just pops. That looks pretty nice. This just makes a neutral look a bit more funky with a little bit of different tones going on on the lid. Oh, I really like that. I might just close it up in the crease with that shade, because it's stunning. So I'm probably gonna go in Alchemy. This shade here, I think that can be a bit of a moment. I'm gonna spray this brush just so I can get the ultimate glow. I'm gonna use my I Heart Revolution Wonderland Radiance Gl Glow Spray. <sighs> Love, put that on the brow bone as well. Oh, whilst we're here. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm gonna go in all those shades that we used on the lid, transfer it down to the Low lash line. I'm gonna go into this bone color shade. It's called Vanish. And I'm just gonna put a bit on the brow bone, just around the outskirts of everything we've used. Just gonna just soften it up a bit ever so slightly. I'm gonna go in my waterline. This is the Ciate Wonderland. Wonder Wand. It's in the shade black. 
Okay, we can get on to some base now because we're pretty much done. I don't think I need an eyeliner for this look. I always do eyeliner, but maybe we can go without today. Okay, let's move on to some base. So I'm gonna go in the Revolution Slime Primer. I'm just gonna use this everywhere today. Getting closer to Halloween. I'm excited for the makeup around Halloween time. So for my brows, I've been picking up this quite a lot. This is the Maybell Mitchell the Essentials. I've been using the Richia shade and the Coconut shades just to create a brow color for myself. But first I am gonna go in the Revolution Honey Brow Jam brow stuff. <laughs> Stick them up. I'm hoping you still get this brow jam. Brow jam, that was the name. I do prefer it over the other chocolate brow wax. I feel like it's got more of a stickiness to it. Okay, Richier and Coconut. So this is Richier and that is Coconut. You know what? I think this might be a bit, bit too light, but we're just gonna go with it anyway. I'm just going to outline my brows and just fill in the sparse areas, creating an elongated tail. I mean, the color's not coming off too bad, is it? Okay, this color isn't too bad actually. Like, I think I can go with this. I thought it was gonna be a bit too light. I'm gonna set them in place. I'm gonna use a 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. My absolute favorite. I do love the NYX glue. This and the NYX glue is my favorite. Slightly prefer, I don't know what I prefer actually, because sometimes I prefer the NYX glue, sometimes I prefer this. Base time, so these are my foundations, been using this quite a lot. Got the Be Perfect Chroma Cover Luminous Shade M3 and then the L'Oreal Matte Cover Shade 130 True Beige. <sighs> so dry, on my nose. It's been a while since I've been this little beauty. This is the Tarte Shape Tape, so let's give this a whirl. I'm gonna go with my sponge for this. I forgot how brightening this is. Oh, yeah, I like this concealer. Good when you haven't been in something in a while and can you really appreciate how good a product is. Like, I've been using my HMB quite a while, but now I wanna use this, I'm like, oh, that's actually nice. That's actually really nice. Bronzer time. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand in shade Light Medium. Let's put some of this on. Bit of my nose as well. I'm gonna get an orange hairline. <laughs> Me mixing all this up together. Let's go in this cutie. So this is the Revolution Finding Nemo. RIP highlighter did not survive the delivery journey, but, but let's concentrate on this. So the bronzer. This bronzer is very pigmented, so I just need to remember to be cautious with it. It's quite orangey, but I feel like with a neutral look and Warm tone look. You can slightly get away with that. Mousse time. This is the Revolution Mousse in the shade Grapefruit Coral. Let's go into this. Ooh. I think that is a nice shade for this look. Oh, it's very, very, very pigmented. But it blends absolutely lovely. We definitely need some powder because I am looking very sweaty. Bougie, I'm gonna go in my Laura Mercier powder. I like this because it's very, in comparison to Revolution Lace, it is quite light, but it has coverage. I've been adding this into my routine again. This is the L'Oreal Life's a Peach. I just feel like it's a nice filler blush. It just, nice to add on top of another blush, just to give it more of a boost. I'm bringing this out again, cause I absolutely blooming love it. It's the P. Louise Highlighter Palette. Oh, what should I go in? I'm thinking of going into this. This is really dark though. Actually, it's not too bad. Let's do that. Oh yeah. I don't know if it's doing a cast, but I can appreciate what it's doing on the surface. That is lovely. This highlighter palette is beautiful. I can't tell if it's shown a cast in this lighting. Probably is, but I like it. It's really nice. I don't think it's too casty. Okay, lippy time. What do we do? This is the iHeart Revolution Sweet Liner 
in chocolate brown. I think this could be nice. That's something. Mm-hmm. Oh, I have a grease lipstick on my phone. So I'm gonna use this. This is the grease lipstick in the shade Sandy. Hoping this could be nice with this. This is too dark. Oh no. I like that combo. I don't know if the lip liner is a bit too dark though. I like that. I don't know if I like it with the eye look though. I tend to go over concealer if I think something's a bit too light. I'll just do that. Just to even out the tone a bit. Time for mascara. I'm not going to go in blushes today. I've decided. Let's go with this. This is the Kylash mascara. I really like this. It's one of my favourite mascaras I've got in my collection at the minute. Along with Sky High, they're my favourites. Like this mascara. It's got lift, it's got a bit of volume, it separates nicely. But I do really like the uplifting it has. I always have one eyelash that's more lifting than the other. Why is that? Pretty much done, that was quite of a quick makeup session. I am going to set my face using the Lottie London Stay Matte AF Setting Spray. I'm not going to spray it just yet though because my mascara is still wet. It'll transfer if I just spray my face. So here's the finished makeup look. I really like this eye. I didn't expect to use that. Well, I kind of knew in my head I wanted to do a neutral look, but I didn't expect to use that man that crystal shade, the this duochrome. It is a duochrome, I'd say. Uh, it just shifts in different light. It's got a nice brown base, and then it's got a green running through to it. So. Yeah, I feel like that pairs with a neutral colour very well. But all in all, this palette is absolutely stunning. I don't want to, I don't know why I'm even filming with it because it's out of stock, but it won my palette palette, so that's why I want to film. As for the rest of my face, I really like this Revolution Mousse formula. I prefer this over their eyeshadow mousse. I do not get on with their eyeshadow mousse whatsoever. Except for certain shades, like I like the yellow, yellowy one, but all the others are just lack pigment. This Finding Nemo bronzer, if you really want that sun kiss bronze look, this is a good bronzer to go for. It does lean a bit on the orange side, so you do need to be a bit careful with it, but next to a really brown eyeshadow look, I think you can slightly get away with it. This concealer, the top, I forget how good it is. This is so nice, and it looks so nice under the eye. Like, it does not look cakey, drying. It just looks really nice. <laughs> I'm really happy with that. Oh, the P. Louise highlighter. Stunning piece of product that is. I think that's about it. The Kylash mascara does wonders. But yeah, this is my makeup look. Using the Palette Poll winner. Well, yeah, that was my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do want to be involved in my next Palette Poll and you want to be part of my Patreon, I'll leave the link down below in my description box. But yeah, let me know if you've still got this palette hanging about in your collection. Do you like to get out for the Halloween and winter months? But yeah, if you did like today's video, do give a big thumbs up. Sure has my channel out. And if you don't want to miss out on more palette revisits, Test out new makeup and all that and hit subscribe and down below. And yeah, I hope you have a lovely day. Now I'm very much and I shall see you in the next one. Bye!